Hello, this is a quick overview of this display. On the bottom side, we have the pins that fit into the Arduino Mega 2560 and also an SD card slot. As you can see here, it fits in there. The SD card doesn't come with the display. However, the USB cable on the back does come with this display. This is the display from High Let Go and on Amazon. It's a IPS TFT LCD display, uh, 3.2 inches and fits on the Arduino Mega 2560. And that's actually the Arduino Mega 2560 also from High Let Go. And it fits as a shield right nicely on it. The only issue that you will have is the other pins obviously are covered up by the shield and so it's hard to wire other things up to it. So once we hook up the USB cable just for power in this case, uh, we can see the display in working order. And I'm going to show you how to install that library for this display in a second. Here it cycles through all the various uh, graphical items it has. Uh, this display is nice and big. It's pretty crisp. I'm not totally sure how my little cell phone camera gets it. It might be a little bit bad on the colors here. Um, that said, uh, it's not a touch screen screen, just a plain old screen. The library that we download supports also other screens, including a touch screen. And later on, I do a review on a different a screen from High Let Go that is a touch screen. And hopefully that works, that library works with it as well. The first thing we need to do is find a library for our display. And I found the rinkydinkelectronics.com web page that has a UTFT driver that works with this display. The nice part about this driver is it's very up to date, August 2018. It supports our Arduino and we have some manuals as available as well. So go ahead and download the zip file for the driver and then don't unzip it yet. Now we open up Arduino IDE and install the library. To do so, we click on Sketch, Include Library, and the second item if you don't, is Add Zip Library. If you don't see that, you might have to scroll up. So in case you scroll down, like this here, you go to the arrow and you scroll up again. So after you click on the Add Zip Library, you go in and browse to where you downloaded the file, the zip file. And select the zip file and click open. In my case, I already installed it, so I don't have to do that again. Let's open up the demo. To do so, we go to File, Examples, and scroll all the way down to UTFT. That's installed along with the library when we op in imported the zip file and we choose Arduino AVR. If you choose any of the other ones then it won't run on your Arduino Mega. So make sure you choose Arduino AVR and the demo with our screen size which is 480 by 320. And that will open up a new IDE window. First thing we do is verify that the sketch works. Ignore the warning here. Instead, take a peek at the size being used. I just want to show you that because initially it used 25,014 bytes and now it's down to 17,402 bytes. 
that's from 9% to 6%, so a 3% decrease in the size of the sketch. And what I did is I just disabled all the display drivers for the various displays that aren't being used, since we just use one display, obviously. We don't need the other drivers and so can save some space. The document says you can save the space by disabling the displays that you aren't using. So if you go into the documents, Arduino libraries, UTFT folder on Windows, you find the memory saver.h file. And you uncomment all the disable statements uh, that aren't your display. So the only display that we really need to keep is this ILI9481. All the other ones that used to be common out, you just remove the two slashes and to disable them. Go ahead and save it and then you can upload the file. To upload the sketch, we just click on the upload button right here. And it goes ahead and uploads it to the, our Arduino. And as soon as it's done, you should see now the graphics cycling through of the demo program.